Today we're going to do a video on lasering using the Brilliance Black Laser Metal Spray. And we're going to try this on stainless steel, on glass, on a carbide bits, uh, on the shaft of the carbide bits, and also on some brass nameplates. So watch it till the end. I think you'll enjoy. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. So let's get going. So today I'm going to do a demo. I got the Brilliance Black Metal Laser Spray. And I wanted to see if I can just go ahead and spray that. And I've got a 6 watt diode laser from Op Laser. And we're going to see if that works first time out. I put a nice little coat on there and let it dry. So now we're going to go over to the CNC and see if we can do a little logo on there. Okay, we're getting ready to do a laser test. Stainless steel. And we're going to see how this comes out. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this now. Let me move that. So I did this without uh, the air. Uh, they indicated that it might blow that away. I'm going to do one with the air, but now we just got to take this in and see how it cleans up. But boy, the detail of it's there, because that's pretty small. You can get an idea of the size of that and the amount of detail. It's about an inch and a half. So let's go wash it off and see what we got. Okay, so here's what we're going to be trying to wash away. And this comes off really easy just with water as you can see. I could not have hoped for anything but looks really really good I am a hundred percent sold on this just look at the detail that's on stainless steel I even got the little carbide tip showing on the blade and look at the lettering I mean I think that's pretty damn good. And that's using the uh, Brilliance Black Metal Laser Spray. I think this has been a real big success. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try to engrave on this uh, half inch shank. Let's see how it turns out. And now all we're going to do is see if it's actually burned in. So 
Okay, we're testing uh, using the uh, Brilliant Black Metal Laser Spray on glass. Okay, well that took a while. So now we'll go and wash that off and we'll see what we got. Okay, this is the uh, piece of glass that we used the brilliant black on. We're gonna rinse it off and see what we got. Definitely did some etching on the glass. Did a very nice job. It looks like it's frosted glass. So I'd say that came out very well. You can see the detail is very good. So I'd call that a win. And I'll show you the comparison between this one and the one we did with the uh, just black paint. Okay. So, it's kind of a matter of choice which one you're going to like better. This is the one done with the Brilliance Black Metal Laser Spray. And then this is the one done with the black paint. This one appears to be darker. You're looking through it to the, my paper. I should have clear paper there. But anyhow, this one's a little bit darker. This one looks more like frosted glass. And it kind of has a pretty good outline around it. And uh, either way, they're both quite acceptable. Once again, that's with the uh, Brilliance Black Metal Spray. And this one was where we just used black paint. Like I say, it's a little darker in color, but the other one looks more like a piece of frosted glass. Okay, we're going to try out this uh, black metal laser spray on brass with a Six Lasers uh, PLH 3D Series uh, XT laser. And let's see how this comes out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, now we just got to see if it washes off and stays. I would call that 100% success. That is very nice. And it actually seems like, it, you know, I've, I can feel the ridges, so it did burn in there. But uh, that's going to work out quite nicely for these nameplates that I put in the wine cellar. Oh, 
So there we go. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. But that is going to be perfect for in here. Shows up very nicely.